have you ever experienced like you know a time when you know you had a project and you were just like not completely invested i mean it, it was kind of along what you like to do but it, it was just not there oh yeah every every film project i've done basically <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know? no but seriously though because like you know you you do have that initial excitement you start working on it and the passion is still there the inspiration is still there like when i'm i don't know like when i'm writing a script and and even a script you know that passion can die down and then you know then it gets back up again when you start filming because the first day of filming and then the the second week the third week the second month of filming you know it's still a little bit there because you're like excited especially when you're filming certain scenes and making the vision come true and things are it's a like magic it's like the words are coming to life you know right before your eyes it's crazy and then halfway through a film project you know like i'll start feeling like oh man it's just dragging man i just want to get this film done with you know this is taking so long even filming some of the spider-man episodes even like a given film shoot the mysterio fight scenes those took so those are the hardest fight scenes to film because you know we have this smoke machine that turns off by itself every like uh 20 seconds when it overheats so you constantly have to wait for it to cool down and then turn it back on. And when we're filming that Mysterio fight scene, we needed the smoke to be a certain way. So it's like, it's so, without going into too many details, it was an extremely complicated fight scene to film. And it took the whole day, it actually took two or three days to actually get the whole fight scene done over, spread over a month. When I'm working on a film project, when things get tough, because every film project is hard, it doesn't matter what, it almost doesn't matter what film I've ever made. It gets complicated near the middle the passion dies down and then you kind of what I do is I just have to force myself to try to finish it and off often the actors too because you know their passion dies down too like something sparks your curiosity and then you start adventuring into un uncharted waters or you know things that that might seem like setbacks along the way that you were just not expecting to happen since one is leading the project one has to kind of sometimes push through moments when one is not completely motivated to to do the project right and it, you know sometimes especially if you're getting paid to to do a certain project it's it's almost like it's kind of pushing through those moments of feeling like you're in a rut kind of thing but sometimes when you have a big big project that you're working on and you kind of lose that passion or motivation for it it almost feels like it becomes a drag right to to kind of finish it and once you get it done you do feel that relief like the 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 weight on your back kind of gets lifted off a lot of people say that going through those struggles going through that pain actually helps you become you know a better, you know whatever you're trying to be you know better filmmaker better artist better graphic designer say there's been different projects where i was paid for that kind of stuff and maybe you know at first it's exciting you know and by no means, like the pay is good. You know, the pay is definitely appreciated. And but you know, like just like with anything in life, or even my film projects, you know, that passion might be there. And you do like, you know, like I like filming and I like editing. Um, but then, I guess it depends, right? Like, just a quick metaphor: like if you're writing an essay, it's about if it's about something you love, you're gonna enjoy writing it. If it's about something you have no interest in that you've never had any interest in, you're probably gonna dread writing it. You might be a good writer doesn't mean you're going to enjoy writing it every time now like with a film project right if it's a film project i'm not passionate about i mean i'd enjoy every second of it like i would with a film project that i that i really am passionate about when you're not passionate about it, i think where we're getting at here it can drag on it can feel more like a, I guess it could feel more like work and more like a chore or maybe even harder to get through in some way so yeah the pros and cons so like that's how i would always look at it like yes i, I need this money and not only that, it's not just the money, but it's also the fact that you're getting experience and that experience adds up. You know, you put it on your CV, you put mm -hmm. it on your resume and that builds up and builds up. And the more of that you have, especially the more years of it you have, you might actually open yourself up to opportunities in the future for the job that you really want. Six months in, eight months in, you realize, you know, hey, this wasn't for me. You know, we were kind of talking about that. Yeah. This, this wasn't for me. So you do I it. Just, you you did it, you know, you tasted it, you saw what it was like. And I think that's, that's one of the things that right now in our nowadays, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, adults or, or family members sometimes tell us like, Hey, like, why are you giving up? Like, 
you know, you have to be strong and you have to keep going forward. And it's like, you know, I kind of, I kind of w- would say I would fight that a little bit just because right now, you know, especially, you know, us being in our twenties, you know, sometimes our twenties is also a time of experimentation. You know, you try to see like, you get a job and, you know, maybe it does, does go well. It doesn't, you know, a lot of people say like, well, give it a year. You know, if by a year it doesn't work, you know, maybe go off of it. A lot of people don't find it because they don't allow themselves to to get that experimentation, right? To to try different projects, to try different things. And that pushes people outside uh, or, or pushes people to kind of conform with just whatever they've they've messed with or they, they kind of experimented with, right? And so that leads them to a certain limited path list should we follow our you know excitement or or should we just kind of put that off like what what are some identifiers oh yeah yeah definitely i have a well the most practical solution i have and it's contrary to most people's opinions but i i see both both sides of it so you're you're postulating the the idea that you know the parent tells you to be a lawyer or a doctor or whatever and but if you're not really passionate about it don't don't do that do what you love and I agree with that in some way, because that's what I've done with my own life. However, because I was a biology major and I switched to communication studies. However, I had a backup plan. And that's where I come in with the practical side of it, because I also see the practical side, the parent side, I guess you could call it, where, you know, it's genuine concern. Of course, parents can have concern for their children. They want their children to do well. They don't want their children to suffer and, mm-hmm. you know, be homeless or, or struggle with finances and stuff like that. Or they just want to get their children out of the house faster. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. like, but I think it's a good balance, right? If you can, if you can have a backup plan and by backup plan, I mean, you can have a career in college, both a college degree or whatever kind of job that still allows you to pursue your passion on the side or, or half, half and half. Like, like,